First Alert 5 weather with Alan Rose. Well, welcome back everyone. October's version of Snowmageddon pretty much all but done. There could be some lingering snow flurries or snow showers late tonight. That's mostly going to be across Los Animas County out and across the eastern plains, but I think up towards the Pikes Peak region into Pueblo County, most of the snow is done falling. And look at the almanac page today. Six was a record setting low in the springs. The prior record low for the day was 16 set back in 1913. That's 107 years ago. 10 was the high for Pueblo. We saw a low at 12, not quite a record. Today's high 17, well below average for this time of the year. And the high today in the springs of 10 also setting a new record low max. And that temperature well below what the previous record was. That was 31 set back in the late 1800. So not only are we breaking records for highs and lows, we are shattering them and I think we'll do it again as we head towards Tuesday morning. Right now it's awfully cold outside six degrees. The temperature it feels like negative four. So if you have to step outside for any amount of time tonight, even a short amount of time, make sure you're layered up with those insulating layers to keep yourself protected from those dangerously cold temperatures. Pueblo right now eight degrees wind here a bit breezy out of the east northeast and that makes that wind chill factor or feels like temperature feel like it's below zero. Take you around to Fremont County. Beautiful with the mountains now covered in snow. Downtown looking pretty as well. 13 degrees outside. The feels like temperature at five. And finally, we'll take you down with this view of Fisher's Peak in Trinidad. Seen a lot of snow here. Could pick up some more across southern parts of the state. So make our way into Wednesday. I'm going to tell you why that is in just a second. We can see low pressure down to our south and as the low continues to pull away into Arizona and New Mexico, I think most of the snow will taper off tonight. But then as the low moves back to the northeast on Wednesday, that is when our precipitation chances will pick back up. So here's a look at your Tuesday day planner forecast. Ouch. I don't think this looks fun in any way for the morning hours will be around zero in both the springs and Pueblo noontime temperatures just a barely above freezing in both areas and your highs tomorrow into the upper 30s and lower 40s for the rest of tonight. Other than the few lingering snow showers or flurries, we're going to see generally dry skies and as the atmosphere dries out and the cloud cover dissipates, that allows those temperatures to get really cold as we get this uh, deep dive of Arctic air and the radiational cooling that takes place. Notice most of the day on Tuesday is pretty clear, but here's that energy that swings back in around that low as we head towards Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Initially, we'll notice an increase in clouds and then precipitation chances pick up from south to north this time as we make our way into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Your lows tonight. Here's the real deal, folks. Zero degrees expected at Woodland Park, four below zero West Cliff to Alamosa, two in the Springs and five in Rye. Highs tomorrow only into the 30s and lower 40s in most areas. Could see a few colder 20s in the mountain valleys and the mountains of southern Colorado. It does get warmer at the end of the seven day period, but I think this low is going to dictate just how warm we get initially. Wednesday, I have this chance of rain, snow showers. We dry out by Thursday and Friday and then by Halloween up to 67. Pueblo will be in the upper 30s with dangerously cold temperatures in the morning. Wednesday we get that mix of rain and snow in 45 and then we moderate through the 50s Thursday 60s by Friday. Canyon City pretty active for the next couple of days with the best chance for precipitation Wednesday and then we dry out and see some fall like conditions. Beautiful weather by the weekend and in Woodland Park dangerous cold in the morning on Tuesday. A weak chance here Wednesday and then drier weather by the weekend. Rob coming up at 630. I'm looking at comparing just how cold this snap is to the rest of 2020. I got to tell you at first glance looks like this is the coldest weather we've seen for lows all year.